Welcome to Bartend Ranch. So, it's Trapping Tuesday, giving you a trapping update. I have actually pulled my trap line. And since this is my first time doing this, it's my first time pulling a trap line, I learned a few things. So, um, I, there, you can buy trap pullers, but I didn't. Um, one way I pulled traps is use my auger and my drill. Uh, drill next to the earth anchor all the way down until you can pull the trap out. Pull it free. Pull the earth anchor free. And well, that worked swell for a little bit. Wow, I totally broke that. I won't be able to fix that. This is the last trap I pulled. And I don't know how I did it, but it was an earth anchor down between two boulders. And I was unable to pull it out. I had to use a rock bar to get this part out. And I broke the swivel and lost that, that piece. So the piece goes in here around the chain and back up. It's supposed to be one here that this chain hooks onto. That's gone. I broke that completely off. Um, bent these here. Uh, tried to use the four wheeler to get it out and uh, that didn't work. Um, oh, well, at first I tried to drill and I, I uh, of course, it's wedged between two boulders, and I don't know how I hit it perfectly. To where this earth anchor went down, and when I pulled it, got wedged between the rocks like that. But I did. And the four-wheeler couldn't pull it out. So, it actually broke the swivel. I was trying to use a T-post. Um, I can't remember who said it but someone smarter than me if you have a big enough lever and a strong enough fulcrum you can move the world so i tried that first i did the drill a hole next to it of course i hit rock so i couldn't do that then i tried the t-post you know wrap the chain around the t-post as close to under the swivel as possible uh that didn't work i just bent the t-post and then I tried the four-wheeler and actually, see the chain links? See how they're all normal? Normal there, and I pulled that one. Um, so, that was fun. Uh, but what I had to do is get a rock bar, break rock, to get that out. Um, that one, not fixable. So this, uh, I got all the stuff from the Rex Predator Academy and that's what I'm trapping with this year. But I pulled my trap line because I was gonna go out of town this weekend. That did not pan out. Um I here it is. So I used the drill method till my drill died. Pulled three traps. And at um, this one, I pulled just with the T-post. And I did straighten this quite a bit here. And it's to a point where I can't, I need to actually curl it. So, I've got fence and pliers. Let's get you guys in some good light. Get some of this hay off the, on the back of the feet. Good light here. All right. But I wrapped it around the T post above this. I was able to pull it out, but that straightened quite a bit. So I need to try and bend it back so I can wedge it around this chain here. Pretty tough. Let me just take the chain. Nope, can't take it off. 
because then I probably won't be able to get it back on. Now I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it or not, but I don't think there's just one way to do it. Alright, let me see. They actually give you a tool with your kit. That's for closing those, and that's this thing here. Hmm. I don't think I'm closed enough, but let's give it a try. Try taking the chain off. Really didn't want to. You know what? It's actually closing a little bit. Let's just see if I can just crush it. All my weight on there, 160 pounds. It did crush it a, a little bit. I may be able to make that here. Let's see what we can do here. Come on. Almost. I'm almost. There. There it is. Yes. Boom. All right. Now that swivel is touching again. Yeah. Right there. That one's good. So that trap I can use again. So I've got five traps I can use, one that got sprayed by a skunk, so I need to power wash it, boil it, and fix that. Let's see here if I can take this swivel off, and I will just, you know what, I changed my mind on the swivel. Let me go over here. I'll be right back. Let me go grab something.
Okay, so I bought this a while back before I found the Rex Predator Academy stuff. It is cable, which I'm not too sure I'm fond of. I really like the idea of the chain and the double swivels. Uh, the reason I went with these traps is because they have double swivels. And uh, I knew it, there's a possibility that I could catch my dogs. And of course, as, if you've watched my videos, I have. There's one right there. But I've got some links here. I can, let's see if I can do this here. I'm wearing gloves because, you know, I kind of want to keep this as scent free as possible so I can reuse this trap. Uh, not sure how this is going to work. Gosh, this is a big, big ring here. I need to widen out this chain link. Here, which I can use this tool here. Let's see that chain link. Put that right in there. Make that bigger. Okay. Now let's see. This very shiny, which isn't a good thing. And these huge gloves. All right. And gloves are coming off. And I'm just touching the earth anchor, so this may not be a big deal. Actually, this end is bigger. Almost fits. Let's see if I can make that a little bigger there. All right. There, it will fit. Just barely. Uh, yeah, I need to make it a little bit bigger. Doesn't get much bigger than that. Boom, it fits. My swivel fits too, so I can still use this. But this doesn't swivel. I don't know, kind of swivels. So I guess that's kind of fixed. We'll see how well it drives into the ground. Okay, there we go. Boom, my name and information's right there. Swivel, that trap is good to go. Not sure that's gonna matter. Let me check it. CF. Still set just fine. Gosh darn it. Okay, so I'll do that, pick that up. Like wrestling a fat kid for the last cupcake. Yep. Just fine. Um, I 
Gosh darn it. Can you tell I'm not not a veteran at this? I don't see that being a, a big issue, but I'm gonna try to bend it back. It's actually pretty easy. straightened this trap's good to go I can reuse that so all I have left to do is I've got one more trap that I don't need this don't need those so I got one more trap that I will have to power wash I think I might boil it as well. And then it is good to be used. Uh, Redip it with wax. Then, then I can reuse it. But thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll catch you all next time on Bartan Ranch.